Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Boy and Styles. And I'm back with another banger. So today, I'm gonna review my car. It's a 2018 Nissan Maxima. Bag, a little slight shit. I'm gonna tell y'all what mods I have on the car. Uh, I'm gonna try to see if I remember how much they cost. And I'm gonna show y'all where to buy that. Cause I get a lot of questions in the uh, Facebook forum. Uh, they message me on the Messenger app, on Instagram, everybody DMs me, they ask me what size is the, is the wheels, the tires, where I get this, that from, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to just cover all of that in this video. And uh, yeah, so if y'all look at, if y'all have an 8th gen Maxima like mine and y'all looking to do any of these mods, I can show y'all where to get it at. Alright, so we're going to get on going with the review of the car. I'm going to start from... Oh, right here. I'm gonna start from like the front of the car and then we'll just work our way to the back. Sorry about the wind noises. I'm over here under the bridge by water. I thought it was a fire ass view, but um, hopefully it's not that bad on the video, but we're gonna get started on the review of the, of the car. So to start off in the front, I have the Stillen front splitter. And I got it wrapped in fake carbon, fake carbon gang. I got the front splitter. Uh, they wrapped it and they also painted the sides. They painted the sides black and then they wrapped the front, uh, the full carbon. Um, I don't remember exactly how much that cost because I think the price went up. I'll try to look it up and put it in the bio when I put the link there. But um, yeah, I had... I, I got that as a gift and then I had to get it sanded and primered so that way they could put the uh, the wrap on it. But the people that wrapped the uh, the front splitter was uh, Goon Customs. Next, I got a lot of questions about this on my Instagram. A lot. Next, I got the, well I just got the car washed so you see there's like water getting inside. You don't really see that at night though when it lights up. It's pretty fire. This is the light up Nissan emblem from, uh, I think the website was called floatingcentercaps.com. I don't know, some weird website off China. It fit good. There's like small modifications you had to do uh, to put it on there, but it fits good. At night it looks good. I'll try to show you a, a little video or a picture on how it looks at night. Pretty cool, it's plug and play, it just tapped into a fuse somewhere. Just plug right in. Uh what else I got next? The I mean it's not really a mod, it's just tints, but if you're wondering what percent tints I have, I have five percent all around and then I believe 35 on the front windshield. So it looks pretty dark on the front windshield, but it's actually not. Like you can see, you can see out of it during the day and at night no problem just the sides the sides are dark the sides are mad dark but yeah i think that's all i'm i'm pretty sure that's all the mods i have in the front oh and all the bowls in the front are all changed to led the turning signal the high beams the low beams the fog lights quick fact too whoever has an eighth gen maximum you guys never change the bulbs in the fog lights each fog light holds two bulbs so two here, two on the other side. So you need four bowls to change the fog lights here. These are all LEDs. And the LEDs, I got off of my boy, uh, the LED Connect. That's my brother right there, that's family. To, uh, for another, another question I get asked a lot are the wheels. A lot, a lot of people ask me what size are my wheels, do I rub, um, did I need to roll the fenders, pull it, anything like that. So the wheels, these are ESRs. I don't remember the exact model, but like I said, I'll try to find it and put it in the, um, in the description. But the wheels are, I, I think they're like two piece, but they're, they're ESRs. 
the specs of the wheels are 19 by 10 and a half it's squared all around so they're both the same size the front and the back so 19 by 10 and a half all around plus 22 offset and the tire size i forgot because i suck ass uh, it's hiding somewhere in the fender that's tough the tire size i'll look in the back let me see where the tire size at oh the tire size is right here 245 35 19 and these wheels i like them i didn't really see anybody run these these wheels on the eighth gen max and um the fitment is money like look at this front of the lip right here this is front of the lip fitment right here oh my god let me get a little zoom in But I did actually had to, I had to get the fenders rolled and pulled. I got the fenders rolled all around and just the back pulled. I didn't get the front pulled. The front actually, when I put the wheels on to test fit it, the front actually, it fit like perfect fender to lip, but it rubbed a little bit on the fender. So I got it rolled just a little bit so that way I don't rub at all. So now when I air up and when I go my, when I have my high ride height, I don't rub at any bumps, any turns. My low ride height i don't i don't rub at any bumps or any turns either so the front they fit in perfectly the rear the rear i had to get it rolled and pulled when i test fit the wheels and i tried to air the car down obviously i did it slow like to see and make sure i didn't i didn't air it out all the way to make to make sure i didn't fuck up my my quarter pin but the rears um i gotta buy cam arms obviously to match the fitment in the front because it tucks a tiny bit it goes inside um i don't have any cam arms it's just natural camber if you guys want to see how it looks natural camber i don't know if you guys can see it but that's natural camber right there um yeah but the rears i had to get them rolled and pulled and they just popped right in there perfectly fine um what's the next mod the next mod. uh the next mod is the the next mod is the the air suspension so i was debating on getting the ones i have now or the airlift one obviously airlift is like the most popular most reliable because they've been making bags for like god knows how long way older than me the black and white era but um so the bags I went with are actually fly air bags. So uh, I don't know what, what made me go with these bags. Honestly, a lot of my boys from where I'm from over here in Jersey are running this bag setup from Poppy Fly. And they said they've had on their car for years, no problems. As long as you won't get problems as long as it's installed correctly. I know installing bags and buying bags is, is, is expensive, but if you buy bags and then you cheap out on the install, then your bags are just gonna get messed up. Something's gonna get messed up. A line, a line's gonna pop, leak, something like that. Uh, a bag's gonna blow, whatever the case may be. Bags aren't, for most people, bags aren't cheap. For me, they ain't cheap, because I ain't rich. Let me tell you something. Bags is not cheap, but, um, the bags cost me three grand. I don't know if they're still that price because I remember Bobby Fly, he posted on Instagram saying um, that the, uh, the air suspension was going to go up in price. So I paid three grand for the entire kit. It was all the struts, two compressors, and an air tank. Three grand and then I paid another i paid basically another thousand to get it installed the person that installed it for me was uh one of my co-workers boys shout out to delon he's a cool ass dude he details cars too but he's the one that installed the bag and he's not even a bag installer he used to he said he used to do it before but he did a perfect job i told him i didn't want to do anything custom because this 
people think I take it to shows or something, but I don't. This is my daily. I used to be in the car scene like that, uh, like go to shows and everything. But I just like doing stuff to cars for me because I like how it looks. I want to stand out. So that's just my daily. I didn't do anything custom with the uh, the trunk strap or something. I'll show you that uh, in a few seconds real quick. This is how it looks in the trunk. Sorry for the mess, but it is my daily. But that's how it looks in the trunk. He put one of the compressors right there. One of the compressors right there. The management and then the tank right here. And my water trap is in that corner right there. So this setup was perfect for me because I still have a lot of trunk space, as you can see. I got a bunch of shit in here. And I still got more space back there. But this setup was perfect for me. So yeah, like for the for the air suspension overall, it was it's probably gonna run you somewhere around four grand. It could go higher, obviously, depending on if you guys get like a custom trunk setup or something. But I didn't want a custom trunk setup with the hard lines and everything. So we're gonna go to the next miles. We're gonna work our way to the back. So the back of the car. Let's start with the top. This is the rear window lip whatever you want to call it. This, I got it, it was black. And then I also got this wrap, fake carbon gang to match the front. Fake carbon gang. <laughs> I had to get that wrap fake carbon to match the front. Uh, this I got from Spoiler Kings. Uh, again, I don't remember the price because I suck ass. But if I find it, I'll put it in the bio when I put I'll put it in the bio when I put the link for this down below. The next is this rear trunk spoiler. I was looking for this for a while so that way it can match the the rear window uh, spoiler up here. Because they, they both have like that same that same cutout. So it matches perfectly. This I bought off eBay. I think it was only like 70 or 80 bucks. This one already came carbon. It's still fake as hell. But it's valid. It looks better. It, it looks better than the wrap. It looks more, more realistic. You guys wanna see? Let me see what it pulls up. Yeah. That one already came carbon, so that's fire. I was looking for that for a while. But I'll see if I can find that again on, on, on eBay and put it in the uh, in the description below because I couldn't find it for a while. It popped up and went away, it popped up. So hopefully I can find it. The uh, the next one is the rear diffuser. I don't know if you guys can see it because it's in the shade, but the rear diffuser, this one is also from Stillin. I also got that as a gift. So I don't know how much it costs, but I can find that on, the, on their website, no problem. And I'll put it in the, in, the, in the description again, but this one, I, it came black. I had to get it sanded and primer. That's tough. Thanks, pal. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> but like I was saying, I got that uh, unpainted. I think it was just black. It needed to get sanded and primer, and then that one's also wrapped. Fake carbon gang! But that one's wrapped fake carbon too, to match the uh, the lip in the front and also the rear window spoiler. And the exhaust, I had a lot of questions about that too. Um, the exhaust I did, this is something temporary because I want to buy the Shockwave one. I, I saw a lot of videos, I heard it in person, it sounds really nice. It doesn't have a lot of drone. So I like the Shockwave exhaust. Um, I'm waiting up. I'm waiting to save up some like some funds because that ain't cheap. It's like eighteen hundred dollars, and also takes like a year for you to get. But the exhaust I did on my car was ready. A muffler delete, and I changed the factory resonator to a vibrant two and a half inch. That's it. Still has all the cats. Still has the factory wide pipe. Nothing was done to the exhaust up front. It was just back here. The factory resonator was huge. So they just, the exhaust shop just cut that out, put the two and a half inch uh, vibrant on there and a muffler delete. With these tips I bought off Amazon. 
the tips were like 60 bucks it's, it's by uh it's by U power they welded that on cut the muffler off and the resonator the resonator was from uh vibrate the resonator i don't remember the price again i'll try to put it in the description the resonator was probably like 70 80 bucks something like that and then the tips was like another 60 bucks and then i paid the exhaust shop i think it was like 250 to cut everything off and weld everything back on i'll try to show you guys a, a sound clip the car's already warm so it's probably gonna be like low but uh i'll try to show you a sound clip now Hopefully not. Hopefully that sounded good, but that was how, that was how the exhaust sounded. To me, the exhaust sounds good for like a for something cheap. It's not to me. It's not droney on the highway because I always play like music loud. But if I do have the music off, the drone is like very very small. I don't hear that much. It also depends on how you drive. Like if you guys stomp on the car, if you guys are heavy footed, or if you guys like, I try to save gas because gas is fucking crazy right now. But I drive slow, so there's not really a lot of drone, and um, it sounds good to me. When you're driving the car regularly, you don't really hear it that loud, and then when you stomp on it, it really opens up. But it is not raspy at all. It does not sound like that trumpet, whatever, whatever y'all call uh, the VQ sound. But it don't sound like a trumpet to me. It sounds, uh, it sounds good. It sound perfect. A little chef kiss. But uh, now the next. The next thing we're gonna go to, uh, we could do the floor mats. So the floor mats, don't mind that wire, I got a zip tied up there, but the floor mats, uh, I'll put the description also down below. Um, I think I got it from diamondfloormats.com, something like that. I was able to find a discount code for these floor mats on another YouTuber's video. I don't remember the YouTuber's name because it was a while ago. But if he watches this, he could just comment down below. Um, discount code took off like forty or fifty dollars, so I, it's actually a pretty good price, and they fit really nice. It kind of look like it kind of looks like it came with the car. It comes with like a bunch of tabs, so it, it slides up behind the uh, the panels and everything. So it actually fits pretty good, and that that one price is for. All around so you get the floor mats in the front you see I have it over there too I don't know if you guys can see let me zoom in that's the driver's side floor mats it also comes with the rear just one big it's just it's just one piece for the rear it covers the whole thing so it also looks good <clears throat> yeah I'll leave that in the in the description below um what else did i do i got the junction produce mission the vip stuff i thought it looked cool they're not real obviously i got them off ebay um i just like how they look i got the pillows in the front i want to get the ones in the rear but i got the two fronts i got the the seatbelt holders and then it came with this little like center console like cushion looks pretty dope to me it's also mad comfortable <clears throat> um, I think that was like 80 bucks it came with everything it also came with like this charm which also has like this also like this rope 
dangling down here, but it kind of broke, so I'm just running the charm. It still looks pretty cool. Yeah, I can see it. Oh, and let me show you the, uh, let me show you the controller for the, uh, the bags. So, this, like, mount I have it on, stupid dash cam, I always want to turn on. This mount that the, uh, the controller is on is actually, like, just for a phone, it's, it's a, like, a vent clip for a phone. And the the controller fitting it okay. It was loose, but as soon as I bought this case that goes around the controller, it fits in it perfect. It doesn't move at all. Like it's in there. But let me take it out. The case I have, this case is from I forgot how to say their name. I bought it off Instagram. Camberwell. The stuff that they make, I believe, is like 3D printed. That's how it feels. This feels like it's 3D printed, but it feels like it's made good. It fits on the controller perfectly, and there's a little slit at the bottom so the wire can go. So I have a, I have it like this, so you don't see any wires. It's like pretty clean. I like it. And then uh, I think that's pretty much it. The last thing is would probably be is the. Which I already saw in the other videos, but if you guys didn't miss the other videos, I'll just show you right here, is my headliner. So the car from factory, I have a, this is a base model Maxima. And the color of the headliner was actually like this beige, whatever you want to call this color, this like tan beige color. So you can see like my mirrors are still that color. Right here, it's still that color. Um, the handles still that color on the side for the seat belts these are still that color the handles still that color this little like airbag plastic piece is still that color um i'm gonna eventually like dye the fabric on the mirrors black spray paint the plastic stuff black so that way it matches but my headliner is wrapped in black suede. So it feels mad good, it's tough. It's wrapped in black suede all the way back. He also wrapped my pillars in the back, my pillars in the front, so it all matches. And uh, on top of that, I don't know why I'm zooming into my mitt like that when this fat ass pimple is crazy. And uh, and the headliner is the starlights. Y'all probably can't see it that good because it's daytime, but at night they're bright. If you look at the if you look at my other video, they're mad bright. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much everything I have in the in the interior. Um, I don't have a lot done to the car. A lot of this stuff is pretty much like the only mods that you can do to the car, like look wise on the outside. Like there really isn't a lot of companies that, that sell lips for this car. There really isn't um, a lot of companies that make exhaust for this car, intakes. Um, oh, another thing. I don't have uh, an intake on the car. Um, the reason why, um, it's just my opinion, but I don't feel like I need the intake on the car. Um, they do sound really nice, but the factory intake just works too good. Like, it has a little snorkel in the bumper where it gets cold air. It works too good. The short ram intake, to me, um, I feel like I'm just going to get worse gas mileage because of that. It's just sucking up hot air. The car is probably not going to drive as smooth. Um, and the cold air intake, obviously, it has its cons for being all the way down in the bumper if you drive over like a puddle of water or something, you can hide your lock your motor, all of that stuff. Um, so I feel like the factory exhaust, I mean exhaust, wow. The factory intake with like an aftermarket drop-in filter is probably 
like the best for the car. That's in my opinion. Um, like I said, the intakes that the intakes that they sell for these cars, um, like it sounds good and everything, because it's just the VQ motor, the the 3.5. So, um, it's just I just don't want to do it to this car. This is like my first Nissan. I'm like a big Honda Acura guy, but. Yeah, so no intake, nothing is done under the hood. It is bone stock. All I did was that little exhaust thing, and that's all. But that's all I have in the interior. That's pretty much it. It is hot as hell in here. Holy shit. Well, that's it for today's video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, just leave them down below. I'll try to answer it. You can also follow my Instagram. I'm always on my Instagram, at Boyo Styles. I'll put it in the description as well. And um, what else was I going to say? Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Oh, <laughs> oh that's what I was going to say. Um, yeah, enjoy this bonus footage. Peace!